I think the way I kind of got into engineering and becoming a, an academic in chemical engineering was, was quite, um, it involved a lot of luck, uh, some conscious decisions as well, but really it was kind of a, a random path that ended up in, in the right place. I think I'm, I'm in the right place for me and, and that's because what I always had was curiosity. So when I was younger, um, I'd get a new toy. I remember my dad bought me a remote control car once. I pestered him for ages and I got it. And within about an hour, I'd taken it to bits uh, and then I couldn't put it back together again. Um, so I had this curiosity about how do things work? I always wanted to understand how things worked. And, and that's really what I carried with me as I got a bit older. Um, I had a next door neighbor who used to repair little two-stroke petrol lawn mowers um, for neighbors and people who had them. And I, I used to start, well, I started helping him taking these these lawnmowers to bits, cleaning them up and, and fixing them again. Uh, and then sort of as my education carried on, I got more interested in, in sort of actually understanding these things on a more kind of fundamental level. So how can I use the maths that I know to describe these things? And, and really that, that carried on through. There wasn't, I don't think, one person or, or one teacher that inspired me to do that, but I think it was that kind of natural curiosity and that process carrying on.